guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and I love to talk. these parts for quite some time you probably know that I talk a lot most of my videos clock in around 15 minutes and that's actually not very popular on YouTube if you do any research on how to make it on YouTube they will tell you do not make your videos long nobody wants to sit through a long video and I understand that but I'm actually the opposite I would rather like get your whole idea out and have it be a 15 minute video than you kind of summarizing everything and it being a five minute video. Every time I watch a five minute video, if it's background noise, I have to like find a new video to watch after five minutes and that's not fun to me. So I figured I would do a new series on my channel which is going to be called Random Ramblings. And each time I do that, I'm gonna have a topic I'm gonna start with, and I'm gonna set a timer for 12 minutes, and I'm going to just talk for 12 minutes. And maybe the whole time will be about the topic that I picked out for the video, or maybe sometimes it will be like nine different ones. I like to rehearse my videos, so I did a quick run through of this just to see if I could figure out something to talk to you about for 12 minutes, and I did, and I went through a few different topics. God only knows if I will go through the same topics again this time, but we'll see. And I figured I would do this like once a month, once every other month, I don't know. I think it would be a fun thing. It's kind of, it's a little bit like a story time, like this one's gonna start out kind of story time-ish, and then it's just gonna, I don't even know what it's gonna do. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to grab my phone, which is not here, hold on. And I'm gonna hit my timer, and we're gonna begin. So, growing up, I was always very klutzy when I was younger. I always was falling and twisting my ankles and then they'd be better two or three days later and then in college i fell and i hurt my foot and i w and i was better within a week and then this summer on labor day i was helping my grandma close her lake house and i was walking down the outdoor stairs to get to um the car to bring all the stuff out and i fell and i hurt my foot and my mom was there and she was like you want to know what I think that we should go to the ER I don't want to be driving four hours with you having a broken foot and not doing anything about it and at first I was kind of like but then I was kind of like mm, maybe you're right so we went to the ER and I got into the room they brought me to get an x-ray done my foot was really swollen by that time and they were like we think you have a hairline fracture and i was like awesome great whatever so they gave me that you know those big walking boots they gave me one of those and they gave me a pair of crutches they didn't give it to me we paid for it and i crutched my way out and they were like you gotta go see an orthopedic and i was like cool whatever so i went and i saw the orthopedic and the orthopedic is like what was this hospital thinking your foot's not broken it's just a bad sprain so they gave me instead of those hard casts i ended up on one of those soft casts and they put that on my foot and i was on crutches for about a week and a half and then i wore that for about a month and a half and i went back and they were like your foot's fine and i was like cool awesome foot's fine what about my life a couple weeks later I was supposed to go to the gym for the first time since falling and hurting my foot and I literally had just texted my friend and I was like I will be there tomorrow like yes I'm excited let's go back to the gym and I was walking down the stairs and I fell and I hurt my right foot again luckily it wasn't bad I ended up wearing my soft cast for a few days and then I was done I never had to go to the doctor for it but you know so that was probably in like December-ish so it was I hurt my foot in September December and then in January I for whatever reason didn't have to go into work until 8 30 normally I go at 7 on this day and have to go to 8 30 and I was getting ready and I was talking to my mom while I was getting ready and I was walking out of a room while talking to my mom and if this is the wall and this is my foot I went like that and I broke my toe and guess what foot it was on you guessed right You're correct and I broke my toe on my right foot and at that point I was like that's really funny like I broke my foot and then I broke my toe like great awesome spectacular and 
I was like, all right, whatever. Like that's, that's just a coincidence, right? And then earlier this week, I was walking in my room and it was dark and I tripped over something and I literally just peeled, like as gross as it sounds, I like peeled skin off my foot because I tripped over something and that's how my cup, my like it was almost like I skinned my toe. And I was like, ow, oh, this hurts. Like it's probably nothing. I didn't look at it right away, which was probably the best idea and then I ended up going upstairs later and looking at it and I was like oh it's bleeding so I like cleaned it off and put a band-aid on it and like every time I take a band-aid off still there's blood like I know that's TMI I'm sorry but guess what freaking foot it was on it was on my right foot and I was like what the like how do I keep hurting the same foot and my mom thinks I'm crazy she's like it's just a coincidence it's just a coincidence but I'm starting to think my foot is cursed like is there a which is something out there that like would curse somebody's foot. Like is there? Cause like I really, I, I almost want to start doing research on it because like why is it the same foot and why does like why, why have I also not injured anything else? I've not gotten paper kit, paper cuts, I've not jammed a finger, I've not like fallen and gotten a bruise, I've not gotten bruises on my hips from walking into anything. Why is it just my right foot getting hurt? Like, I feel like I have a Shane Dawson conspiracy theory. Nah, Shane Dawson wouldn't be doing something this small. But, like, a small-time conspiracy theorist should come up with why my foot is just keeps getting hurt. Speaking of conspiracy theories, are you guys believers in them? I kind of just did another video, and I think it's going to go up before this one, that is all about this idea that Hollywood Studios might be getting a Marvel land down in Disney. And, like, I can't figure out if I'm, like, a full-blown conspiracy believer. Because, like, I don't believe the Mandela effect. Like, I think that's just, like, I don't know. Like, you would have to find some, like, real proof to get me shook about the Mandela effect. But, like, are you, are you guys conspiracy theory believers? Like, I'm big on, like, like, a lot of the channels that do conspiracy theories also do, like, true fuck crime or paranormal stuff, so that's kind of more up my alley. I've recently started to listen to true crime podcasts and Disney podcasts and paranormal paranormal podcasts on my way home from work. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. But those want like, the, that's something I love that, 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 that. This is going to be very unedited too, so I go, hope you guys are enjoying my blip blip blips because I edit out a lot of those in videos. But like, are you guys conspiracy believers? Are you guys paranormal believers? Like, what is your favorite ghost story if you are one? I really, um, there's one that always gets me and I can't think of what it is right now. But like, it always, like, it's one that I truly believe in. Oh, you want to know who my favorite murderer is? I know that sounds so weird, but I love the doctor one the one who like had the murder hotel I think it was in like Cleveland and then his like what like his girlfriend let him take like his three kids this was like in the 1800s but she let him take his three kids and like slowly in different states he killed all the three kids and people think that he might also be Jack the Ripper like oh my god I freaking love that one that's like a cool one to me but there's also like a ghost story that like I just full-heartedly believe in I love that Shane Dawson is doing those like he went to like the Shining Hotel and he went to the Queen Mary. Oh, so cool. And yeah, that's kind of what I've been really into on YouTube. That and like Disney vlogs. I love Disney vlogs. If you guys don't know, I love Disney. I do some Disney content on my channel. But I don't live near Disney. I live in New England. So I um, lost my train of thought because I was tracking the time on my camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been watching a lot of Disney vlogs. I um, was watching earlier Life by Francisco's uh, Disney Cruise ones, and oh my god, I want to go on a Disney cruise again. I think I'm going on one in the fall, so I shouldn't be like, oh, I don't know when I'm going on another one. I have a freaking like uh, placeholder deposit on one. Like I'm going. It's not like I'm not going anytime. But like, <laughs> it gave me some Disney withdrawals. Um, I love watching Brandon Goes Roar. Him and Sabrina are super cute. Um, I was recently watching his one at the Flower and Garden show. This was like, by the time you guys see this, this is like a month old, just so you know. But I was recently watching his one at the Flower and Garden show with Adam the Woo and Kyle Berry, I think? I don't know. I watched some Adam the Woo videos and like there's nothing against him. He's just not my 
type of content, but I really liked Kyle Berry. I ended up watching some of his stuff and I subscribed to him. He's kind of cute. And so I've been really into those channels recently. Um, and oh my god, I really hope by the time you guys are watching this, I've uploaded some travel vlogs because when you guys are watching this, I haven't gone yet. But I am going to Newport really soon, and I think I'm going to vlog my Newport trip. So I hope you guys are enjoying my travel vlogs. I love travel vlogging. It's my favorite thing. That's always been, like, part of the reason I've done YouTube is I want to be able to put travel vlogs up there. But I have also kind of started to love sitting in my living room with, like, there's, like, this behind me. This thing right here is, like, a blue chair. If you guys are, like, OG watchers, you probably remember the blue chair. But I covered it with this. Ooh. And then like my E and all of that. And I've started to love these. But I love to travel vlog. Those, That's like my favorite type of videos to make. Um, I'm really thirsty at this point. Um, I don't know why. I just am. I didn't drink enough water apparently today. But I'm really thirsty. But I don't want to stop during this 12 minute ramble. I don't want to have to pause it. I straightened my hair today too. If you guys can't tell. And I filmed, this is my third video too, so that's probably also why I'm thirsty because I filmed like two other videos and like I said, most of my videos hit 30 minutes, so that means I've been filming for at least an hour and that's why it's starting to get darker out. You guys can't tell as well, I don't think, but it's starting to get darker out and this timer needs to go off soon so I'm not filming in the dark. Um, and then what else can I talk to you guys? Oh, do you know what I've been watching recently? The original Degrassi. Like, well... I'm kind of past the original Degrassi at this point. I started with Degrassi Junior High, which was okay, and then Degrassi High, which was pretty good, and I understand why people love Snake and Joey Jeremiah so much. And then I started to watch, like, what would be my generation's OG, like, when Emma and Manny started. And now I'm at the point where Emma and Manny are about to graduate, and I kind of want to watch it again through new class. I love Degrassi. I still watch it. I am, like, struggling through this hiatus. I'm hoping there will be a fourth or fifth season of new class or yeah that's what it is right Degrassi new class the next oh in the next class that's what it is um although the only character I like that's still on the show is Lola. I really liked Maya and Zig. I know people hated Maya and Zig but I loved Maya and Zig. They were because I always thought I would stop watching when Claire Edwards graduated because that was the class I started with and then I kind of fell in love with Maya and Zig's story, so I kept watching. And then I kind of fell in love with Lola's story, so that's why I'm still watching. But yeah, do you guys do that? Do you guys have, like, do you watch Degrassi? Do you have a class that, like, you either ended with or you kept watching because of? I would love to know. Um, but I've been watching that. I've been watching Disney vlogs. Oh, I've been watching the most recent season of Law & Order that was put up on Netflix. And you know what I love about Law and Order? Law and Order always seems to have like an arc overarching theme that you don't always see on other crime shows. And I love this season's because it's like, or last season's, I guess it was last season's, but it was like what kind of damages you psych your psyche the worst, being in jail or being a cop. And it's such an interesting thought. Because like obviously we talk about PTSD and we often talk about it in the military or with victims of some sort of assault but I think that we forget sometimes that like jail can do it and being a police officer can do it and I don't know it was I just I've really been liking that one and um yeah I'm trying to like do you guys have any Netflix suggestions though I've been kind of not watching as much Netflix recently because I can't really find anything I want to watch I do want to watch after um I finish Law and Order, I think I might go over and do the first season of um, the new Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. But it's like the remake or the new version of it. I think I'm going to watch that. Ooh. And my time is up. That was 12 minutes. I actually was going to go on and talk some more, but I can't because that was my 12 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you made it to the end and respond to any of the stuff that I talked about. I think I asked you guys some questions, right? I don't remember at this point. Uh, but yeah, and that's also, like, that's very much how my brain works. Is that how your guys' brain works? Oh, I think that's how everyone's brain works, but I don't know. I thought that this might be an interesting video. I'm thinking maybe I'll do it every other month or so. If you guys have any topics you would like me to start with, kind of how I started with my foot, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye worlders.